टूडे वी विल सी द एग्जाम्पलरी डिवाइस दैट इज यूर रासबेरी पाय इट इज वन ऑफ द आई ओ टी डिवाइस दैट इज वेरी मच पॉप्युलर वाइल डेवलपिंग एन आई ओ टी एप्लीकेशन द रासबेरी पाय इज वेरी वाइडली यूज एंड इट इज वेरी सिंपल वेरी इजी टू यूज और इट इज वेरी इजी टू डेवलप एन आई ओ टी एप्लीकेशन सो दिस रासबेरी पाय इज लो कॉस्ट मिनी कंप्यूटर विथ द फिजिकल साइज ऑफ credit card whatever will be the credit card size is the raspberry pi is also of the same size of your what credit card or debit card it is low cost it is available in very low cost and it is treated as your what mini computer so raspberry pi is a low cost mini computer with the physical size of credit card so the very first thing about raspberry pi is it is physical device it is physical iot device number 1 point number 2 it is having the size of your credit card or debit card this is point number 2 point number 3 it is treated as your mini computer and point number 4 raspberry pi is low cost in nature it is available at very low cost at very cheap cost it runs various flavors of linux and can, can perform almost all tasks that a normal desktop can do as it is your mini computer so it can perform almost all the tasks that your normal system will going to do because it is one type of your computer but having size as a mini so it can perform almost all the tasks that your normal system that your normal desktop or laptop can do all those tasks can be performed by this raspberry pi and this raspberry pi will going to support your what linux operating system all the various flavors of your linux operating system can be installed on your what raspberry pi it also allows interfacing various sensors and actuators through the general purpose io pins or general purpose input output pins which is usually known as your gpio pins so every raspberry pi will have some gpio pins and those gpio pins are responsible for connecting various sensors and actuator with your raspberry pi in upcoming slides we will see the details about all the gpio pins of your raspberry pi but one thing you should remember in your mind that whenever you are going to use raspberry pi for the development of any of the iot application you must remember the gpio pins and the working of this uh, these gpio pins is nothing but they are used to connect various sensors and actuators with your mini computer of raspberry pi just remember this since raspberry pi runs linux operating system it supports python so whatever programming we are going to do in raspberry pi all the programming will be in your what python because this raspberry pi is going to support your linux operating system so we are going to use python programming language to develop or to write the code for your what iot application we will see the block diagram or we will see the structure of raspberry pi so this is the raspberry pi this is the chip whatever you can see the green board is nothing but your raspberry pi on the top of this raspberry pi you can see these are some pins these are total 40 pins and those 40 pin is responsible for connecting various sensors and actuators along with your power supply ground everything will be available for your sensor and actuator on this particular 40 pins then this block is nothing but your network block that means it is your ethernet port if you wish to connect internet connection or if you wish to connect the lan connectivity to your raspberry pi then you can do this with with the help of this ethernet port these are your what various usb ports if you can see this one and this one these two are your usb ports and those usb ports are mainly used for connecting your keyboard and mouse to your what raspberry pi some raspberry pi will have two usb ports or some raspberry pi will have four usb ports it depends on the 
version of raspberry pi that you are going to use raspberry pi 3 will have four usb ports out of which two will be used for keyboard and mouse and two will be empty so you can connect your pen drive to your this usb port over here then here you can see this this particular port is your sound port that means you can connect your speaker over here the speaker can be connected at this part which is usually known as your 3.5 mm jack whatever speaker we are attaching with your our computer system the same speaker can be attached over here so this is your what sound port then if you can see this sorry if you can see this black and white part this black and white part is used for your attaching external camera you can attach external camera to your raspberry pi on this particular port remember then these are your what hdmi port this is your hdmi port the hdmi port is mainly used to connect your monitor if you wish to connect monitor to your raspberry pi then you will be requiring hdmi to vga converter our monitor is of type vga and raspberry pi will have your hdmi converter uh, sorry hdmi port so vga monitor cannot be directly connected to your hdmi raspberry pi so you will be requiring one converter that will going to convert your vga port into hdmi so that converter that that will be your small cable that small converter will going to attach your monitor to raspberry pi then this is your power supply board or this is your power supply port here you can give the power supply to your raspberry pi usually the power supply for raspberry pi will be given from your mobile charger whatever will be the common mobile charger port is there with the help of that particular mobile charger you can easily give power supply to your raspberry pi through this particular port once you connect the power supply and once you turn on the power supply there will be two leds on your raspberry pi one will be your green and another one will be your red the red led will glow as soon as you will give power supply and the green led will start glowing whenever you will start boot your raspberry pi if you remember your cpu also have two lights one is for your power supply another is indicating that hard disk is under processing so the same two P, uh, leds will be available on your what raspberry pi then here you can see one again black and white port is there so this black and white port is going to connect your sd card but it is underneath means what this is the top view of your raspberry pi and below that particular raspberry pi there is one slot given for attaching your sd card or for attaching the memory card to your raspberry pi so from the bottom side there is one slot that slot is given for specially inserting your mobile memory card into the raspberry pi and that mobile memory card or that sd card will going to contain your what operating system required for your raspberry pi like our desktop will have your windows operating system there are various operating system for raspberry pi we are going to install our operating windows operating system in our cpu's hard disk in the same way the raspberry pi operating system will be installed in your sd card and once you insert the sd card into the raspberry pi and once you start your raspberry pi that sd card will be your rebooting and your system will start your raspberry pi we will see this part in practicals also so this is what the raspberry pi is the structure of raspberry pi is like this now we will see as we have discussed that raspberry pi is going to have various flavors of linux operating system so we will see various operating system that can be installed on your raspberry pi the very common and very basic operating system that the raspberry pi is going to support which is your raspbian it is a debian version that is available for your raspberry pi then another one is your arc it is usually for your amd devices then another one is your fedora 
Fedora Linux is a Fedora Linux optimized for Raspberry Pi. It is the flavor of your Fedora Linux operating system. Rasp BMC. It is X BMC Media Center distribution for Raspberry Pi. Open ELC. It is a fast and user friendly X BMC Media Center distribution. And last one is your Risk OS, which is which is very fast and compact operating system. If you remember, there are various operating system for your Windows also. Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows 2003 server, Windows 2007 server. So those Windows server were specially used for server related activities. In the same way, these are some various flavors of your Raspberry Pi operating system, and each operating system will have some different functionality. Depending on the application that you are going to use, you must use various operating system like this. The basic operating system that will be used for any of the Raspberry Pi will be your Raspbian, and Raspbian is very easy to install, very easy to use. Now this is one of the important part of your Raspberry Pi. If you wish to use Raspberry Pi in your projects or in your application, you must remember this Raspberry Pi general purpose input output pin diagram. So this is what the pin diagram of your Raspberry Pi. If you hold the Raspberry Pi like this, means USB port and Ethernet port will be at the bottom side. And if you hold the Raspberry Pi like this, then these are the 40 pins of your Raspberry Pi, and those 40 pin structure will be like this. So this is pin number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to pin number 40. So this is your pin diagram of your Raspberry Pi. But if we will be on Raspberry Pi board. so this pin will be your pin number 1 then 2 3 4 5 6 this is pin number 39 and this is pin number 40 so starting from this pin number 1 to this pin number that is nothing but your raspberry pi general purpose input output pin diagram if you can see over here there are various functionalities of each and every pin diagram you can see pin number 1 and pin number 17 is used for 3.3 volt power supply pin number 2 and 4 are used for your 5 volt power supply pin number 6 9 20 25 30 34 and 39 are used for giving your ground connections then whatever will be in your orange color all those orange color pins are your general purpose input output pin which are mainly used to connect sensors and actuator to your raspberry pi and you can see the green color pin that is pin number 8 and 10 are generally transceiver and receiver so transmitter and receiver will be there they are special purpose pin which is used for cycle uh, clock clock synchronization purpose and pin number 27 and 28 are reserved pins they are of no use they are reserved pin so this is very 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 important pin diagram of your raspberry pi and you must remember this particular pin diagram if you wish to use raspberry pi for your iot application this diagram or this pin diagram must be by heart learn if you wish to implement your raspberry pi so the summary of this particular raspberry pi pin diagram is you can see over here it has total 8 ground pins it has total 26 general purpose input output that is your gpio pins it has four vcc pins two are of 5 volt and two are of 3.3 volt two are reserved pins like this that was one of your iot device raspberry pi now we will see some another example of your iot devices another one is your arduino this arduino is again one of the very popular iot device that can be used to develop your iot application it is also widely used in many of the industries also and many of the iot application it is very simple again like your raspberry pi this is another iot device qb board again it has same structure you can see 
USB pin, HDMI pin, power supply, and so on. Mics, speaker can be attached over here. Power supply will be given here like this. This is another your IoT device that is QB board. One more IoT device is your PC Duno. This is the structure of your PC Duno. Again, you can see that USB ports are there. HDMI port is there. It will have various power supply pins are there. These are various pins that can be used to attach various sensors over it. This is another example of your what IoT device. And one more is your Beagle Bone Black. Again, this Beagle Bone Black is very much similar to your previous IoT devices. It will have some ports that can be used to connect your external devices over it. This is also one of the IoT device that can be used to develop your what IoT application.